Welcome, I'm Kinetic Symphony, this is Dave. I hunt down and report on weird and true mysterious stories, from glitches to the supernatural. Case file number 1857, written by FK Your Bad Vibes. Dial M for Mountain Mystery. Last year, my good friend and I went on a hike on a semi-secluded mountain trail. We went midweek so we could avoid the weekend hikers. The beginning of the trail starts behind a park's recreational baseball field. It follows a river for a bit and then it leads up into the mountains. The trail goes along the highest peaks then loops you back down another route and spits you back out. Kind of a big circle. So anyway, we walk past the baseball diamond and up the trail toward the river. It kinda had a weird feeling, like I kept running around to see if anyone was behind us. It was oddly quiet though. We came to a weird little play area that didn't look like it had seen much life lately. There was like an old vacated shed and a stack of like five tires, I guess for kids to play on. Anyway, I should mention that I was wearing yoga pants, with the deep front pockets built in. I had my phone in the left pocket and my pack on my back with a water bladder in it, etc. My friend had her backpack on and her phone was in the side mesh pocket of her pack. Accessible if she wanted to take a pic of anything without having to remove her entire pack. I wore these deep, pocketed pants purposely so my phone could be secure, pretty much halfway down my thigh. Anyway, that was how we approached this little weird play area. I told her I was going to go into the tire pile and pee. Sorry. Even though nobody was around, I just had a weird feeling we were being watched or something. It wasn't an overwhelming feeling, just more of a casual feeling. I wasn't worried about it, I mean. Okay, so I walk over to the tire pile. I jumped in it, but didn't quite cover my entire body. Only my head could be seen. My friend started laughing and reached around to her mesh holder on her pack and took out her phone to take a pic. <laughs> we were both laughing. She was about 45 feet away. I should also mention that although we both have iPhones, she has a newer one. Swipe and facial recognition to open. And mine is the old iPhone SE that still has the belly button or home button to open. So they do not open the same way. I can't even get into her new phone. It's facial recognition, so she takes the pic. I get out of the tire and start walking towards her. I asked her to send me the pic, and as we start coming towards each other, I reach into my pants to pull out my phone to look at it after she sends it. We were about 15 feet apart now, not in touch range, and we both looked down at our phones. We both gasped because my phone was in her hand and her phone was in my hand. The phone I just removed from my pants pocket. We were super freaked out because there's no way we would have each other's phones. She would have noticed taking a pic on a phone with a belly button. We are stunned and as we finally are in reach range we hand each other our correct phone. What really sent us over the edge was that she unlocked her phone. The one that I had in my pocket inside the tire apparently. And the picture of me was on it the one inside the tire. If I had her phone in my pants, how did I take a picture of myself in the tire? She never ended up sending me the pic, and we were so freaked out we got out of there as quick as we could. There was a strange gap there, and like we got put back wrong or something. I don't know, and I have no idea how to explain it. Case notes file 1857. Dial M for Mountain Mystery. What I find most peculiar about this story is how you describe feeling a kind of presence watching you, feeling observed, you know when the hairs stand up on the back of your neck and you can't explain it. There have been tests done where people can detect when people are watching them above a coin flip. So there is some mechanism in our body that enables that. We do know most of the time when we're being observed. But how does that mesh with having your phone switch around? Did some spirit cloak the phones and switch them? And if so, why? That's such a weird thing to do, I guess, as a prank. It would be something I would do as a spirit, but it's still, I don't know, 
Maybe just a spirit keeping people on their toes like I would do. That's the best thing I can think of. Otherwise, I don't know. A DOP event like this would be too targeted. It's definitely not random. That's the only thing I'm certain of. No randomness in this. Some will was involved, as is often the case. Case file number 1858, written by Mystique Misha. The floral dress with a V secret. Last year, a family friend gifted me a beautiful dress which I really loved. It was comfortable enough to lounge around in it at home, but also pretty enough to wear outside. It had a very unique black and white floral print, and I remember loving how well it fit. There was just one thing I found awkward about the dress, and that's the sashes on either side were too short to properly tie around my waist. They were barely 4 inches long on each side, and I don't exactly have an 8 inch waist. So I wasn't able to pull them together and tie them. They'd sort of hang loosely at the sides if I wore the dress at home. I'd tuck them in with pins if I wore the dress out. Another detail of the sashes is that the ends were shaped like a V or like an arrowhead. I was grateful for the dress and didn't ask the lady who gifted it why the sashes were really short. I put the dress away during winter as it was essentially a summer dress and recently pulled it out of my cupboard again. And mysteriously, the sashes were now long. Long enough to be comfortably tied around my waist as it was meant to be. And the other changed detail was that unlike the ends of the sashes being V-shaped, they were now the regular rectangular shape. I was completely baffled, grateful and pleasantly surprised, but baffled. This is a unique dress. Nobody else in my family wears or even owns something like this. The lady who gifted it to me didn't give anyone else in my family something like this. And nobody in my family had gone and got my dress altered at the tailor shop. If they had, they would surely not only have informed me, but also taken the other clothes of mine for various alterations too, and not just this one dress. And finally, the print of the dress is a unique black and white floral pattern. If someone wanted to tailor and extend the sashes, they'd have to opt for a regular black or white cloth. They wouldn't be able to exactly replicate the same floral pattern for the extended length. Quesantifal 1858 the floral dress with a V secret. So, I guess multiverse switcheroo? The dress from a different universe. That is a hell of a title for a dress. You know how people name their swords and back in uh, the olden days <laughs> or fantasy days? Well, name your dress. The dress from universe 2. I love that. <laughs> now time for the joke of the day. The dad joke. Billy's father asked for the password to our Wi-Fi. I told him it was taped under the modem. After three failed attempts to log on, he asked, Am I spelling this right? T-A-P-E-D-U-N-D-E-R-T-H-E-M-O-D-M. -E -E taped under the modem. So, applied very literally. But he's not incorrect. <laughs> like the video, subscribe, hit the bell. Kinetic Symphony, signing off.